Hello friends. Today is a very nice day. So I decided to take advantage of the beautiful backdrop that I have that is the mountains and do a little makeup while I'm out here. I did pick up a couple of new products two months ago and have not touched them. So today, we're gonna try them together. Oh, is that a, is that a bee or is it a hummingbird? So today, we're going to try out a new Chanel foundation and a couple of new Chanel lip products. Um, and that's all the new makeup that I picked up. <laughs> Before I do anything, I do like to have my face out of my way. So, every time I have this on, I think I'm three years old, and that's great. Before I get into trying on the makeup, I'd like to take a sip of water <laughs> and apply sunscreen. Mm. Nature. Now, my face is all sunscreened up. I think we're ready for the foundation. I generally don't wear a primer, so I'm not gonna wear a primer here. Here's my skin type. My skin is combination. Most of the time, it leans toward oily, and I'm definitely acne prone. And as you can see, I have some acne coming up, big zits and bumps right here on my face. And they only popped up yesterday but I think this is gonna be really great because now we get to see the coverage and how the foundation work on skin that's not perfect which is I guess most of our skin and that's okay we don't have to be perfect no one has to be perfect being perfect is not a realistic expectation because no one's perfect I try to be better every day I try to be better but never gonna be perfect and I have to remind myself that all the time. Looking at my skin, my skin's not perfect. I have bumps, I have blackheads, I have scarring. And sometimes I just think to myself, why can't my skin be like all of these celebrities with glass doll skin? Perfectly even, perfectly smooth. But we can't compare ourselves to other people. It's, it's all in here. We should be our strongest supporter and admirer to ourselves <laughs> okay now I'm going to try the foundation that's called ultra wear all-day comfort flawless finish foundation by Chanel okay ooh, it's so shiny before I get started on applying foundation let's check out my imperfect skin this side is actually pretty nice, pretty even, pretty smooth, so we have a good clean canvas to work with. On the other hand, on this side, we have obstacles. We'll see, we'll see how the foundation goes on top of these. The shade is actually a little darker than I imagined it would be because it's so, the number is so small. It's a 10, so I kind of expected it to be lighter than this, but it's, looks like a good match. Bing, 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 bing. Oh, that's pretty good coverage. My obstacles are kind of being covered up <laughs> in terms of the color. It was pretty red, but now it just bumped. Very easy to blend. It's supposed to be a long wearing um, foundation that's towards the matte side, but I don't feel like it's hard to blend at all. It's not very drying when I try to apply it and blend it, so that's good. My skin currently looks like this. So Definitely there's still scar showing through and this big obstacle is still there <laughs> And this one is also there, but it's more concealed. I don't see anywhere that's caking up It looks pretty good to the skin. My pores still showing up I guess it's not really pore filling if you're just using this foundation with no primer with that kind of property It's lightweight. It has good coverage and that's basically 
sometimes all I need. I can see that the foundation has oxidized a little bit. It's leaning a little bit orange now, but on my face is still looking pretty good. So we're gonna see throughout the day if the color changes. And next I'm going to do a little concealer under my eyes, a little concealer action. This is the famous Hourglass Concealer in the shade Oat. Normally what I would do is just oop, oop, and actually that's it. Or maybe, or maybe like a little highlight on my nose, make it, make it more highlighty. A little forehead highlighting action uh, with some drawing on it. Pad, 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 pad. Why do I have dark circles? I went to bed at 11 last night. I woke up at 9. That's plenty of sleep. Why? I feel like I've had dark circles since I was 10. So maybe it's just birthmark <laughs> that I developed from the age of 10. <laughs> The powder that I'm using is dirty. <laughs> the powder that I'm using is the Invisimat Blotting Powder in the shade Universal. It's a translucent shade, so I think most skin tone can use this. I roll it in there and tap, tap, tap. I really like this Clinique Cheek Pop in the shade 05 Nude Pop. I don't know if this is even showing up on camera. This color is so nude <laughs> for my skin tone. And that's it. I'm not gonna do any eye makeup because I don't want to. <laughs> now, the most exciting part. I'm going to try out the lipstick that I got. This is the new Chanel Rouge Coco Bloom in the shade 134 Sunlight. Let's try this on. Ooh. It's so bright. It's so smooth. Well, this is a bright lipstick. The second one I picked up is Rouge Allure Ink Fusion in 834. M. Ambig. I don't know how to say this word. This one's super lightweight. It feels like nothing on my lips. I do like this color. It's more of a cool girl vibe with a little bit of a taupe tone in it. Here is a completed makeup look that is done in the woods. I will check back in later on in the day to see how the foundation holds, if it oxidizes, if it breaks up around my acne obstacles. Before we go on to the check-in and explore all the answers to the questions that we just had, please make sure to smash that like button like Graham Stephan says, smash that like button. Here's another stick. Go <laughs> ahead. How about this stick? You like? You like? No. I had just remembered that I had ordered two sets of activewear last week. I got too busy at work and just forgot about them. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna open them up. One set from Set Active and another set from Girlfriend Collective. I'm excited to try them out. The reason why I got them is because I wanted to motivate myself to work out a little bit more. And what's a better motivation than cute activewear, right? Girlfriend Collective comes in this really cute mm, paper bag. 
so it's a bit more environmentally friendly than plastic. And I believe Girlfriend Collective is a sustainable brand where they use recycled bottles or recycled plastic to produce their items. Okay, an order slip. Cool. Oh, cute. It says, thanks, girlfriend. You're about to receive something we're very proud of from the recycled material behind it to the working conditions of the person who made it. We've chosen every step of the process with care. Awesome. Cool. So look at that. Very cute. Very thoughtful. This is very aesthetically pleasing. Really cute card. I'm going to hold on to that. So here's what I got. I totally forgot what I ordered. Here's the top. And here's the leggings. I don't remember the name of this. <laughs> hold on. Okay, I have the Pamela bra and compressive high-rise legging and both of them are in the color twig. I don't know what the color twig is, but I guess it's this color. I thought it was orange. Set Active. I found this brand actually from Instagram through watching Amy Song and she posted that she's a fan of this brand. So I thought, oops. So I thought I'd try it out. Okay, so this is definitely less environmental friendly. Everything comes in a little plastic bag, but it's a cute color. What did I order? I ordered Sculpt Flix leggings in the color Amethyst, and it's the same with the sports bra. It's also in the color Amethyst. It's kind of a dusty purple color. Ugh. It's in a ribbed texture. Let's see if you can tell. It says set. This ribbed little top. I'm a little unsure about this bra because it's not padded. And it's not double layered. So I don't know how it's gonna how it's gonna work. Um we'll see. Well, hello there. Welcome to my bathroom in my pajamas. It is past 10 p.m. and I'm about to go to bed. Before I turn in, I thought I'd check back in with you guys about how the foundation wore throughout the day. And this is what we're dealing with currently. The foundation has wore off a little bit around my nose area, but granted, I was blowing my nose a little bit throughout the day because of pollen. The foundation still has pretty good coverage around the pimple and my acne scarring, but the pigmentation is showing off a little bit more than before. Overall, I really enjoyed having this foundation on my face. It's super lightweight and I definitely didn't get really oily or really dry, so I think it's great for a combination of skin and acne prone skin because it didn't irritate my little obstacles here on the face and it does a good job covering them without caking up which is always always a huge plus in my book with that said it is nighttime for me now i'm gonna go to sleep good night bye